Hello, hello everyone out there, this is Diecast Norbs. Welcome to my show, Galactic Hooligan Style. And today I'm actually really excited to bring you something that I got in the mail. And it was actually, I love this thing so much. I'm surprised that I didn't even buy it earlier. It is Alternative Bumblebee. I am loving this guy. So I want to share him with you and welcome to my show. Hello everybody. Welcome, and today I am bringing you Alternity Bumblebee. Did you see what I did there? I actually made him drift onto the screen because, like, man, this guy is great. I love him. First off, I really am excited about this. I got this as a non box item, so I don't have a box to show it to you or anything like that. Um, but it actually does, he actually does come with his Alternity instructions, which is actually very cool and gives you like a lot of stuff in his schematics that he's actually able to do and everything like that. I'm not gonna go through every single thing because it's actually kind of like a little bit too mathematical for me right now. And although I love like the quantum physics and I love the um, theoretical theory, I love like theoretical sciences and everything like that, but like, uh, what what is this here? Um, Pan dimensional sensory system. What? Look at this. This guy has everything. Uh, Chrono Venom Stinger guns. You know, like, not bad. Like, this guy actually has a great amount of detail. The instructions are actually really well detailed and everything like that, also. There goes. There goes Bumblebee, or Bumble, as they're actually calling him for the Alternity line. But very, very cool. I am actually really excited about this guy. He is awesome, and I think I actually love him a little bit more than uh, some of the masterpieces that are actually out there. Yeah, there, I said it. Look at this. First, I'm gonna give you a comparison with uh, Masterpiece Bumblebee here, the first edition version. Now, I didn't get the other one yet. I'm wondering if I will, but like, I really still love that version of Bumblebee. Like his Penny Racer model actually is just like so great. And I just want him just for that reason, you know? I mean, he actually, he's transform his transformation is spectacular. He looks like the animation model almost, except for like those flat pancake feet and everything like that. But, you know, like uh, these are actually great for now. This is like my masterpiece Bumblebee right now. Or is he? Because look at this. If you actually want to like do it for scale and everything like that, I don't think he actually comes close. I would actually tend to think that Bumble, like Masterpiece Bumblebee, should actually be at least this big compared to like where the Suzuki of the Suzuki Swift actually is, you know? And um, I don't know. Like I really love him. This detailing is amazing. And I'm just gonna give you another size comparison to. A current line, a current masterpiece line. This is Smokescreen. And see, that's actually better scale to me. I love that. So, I'm gonna put him also in here with, I can't show this all off without his buddy, Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Maybe he might be a little bit off scale here and everything like that, but still yet though, I love this. And I also love the fact that if you want to get all masterpiece with it and everything like that, you know, you could actually open this. Uh, there we go. Hold on. And you can actually open up this thing. So if you're actually wondering if he actually still fits into Masterpiece Optimus Prime, absolutely, you know? And so that's actually pretty cool. There we go. And now they're actually off on their voyages. I love it. But that's not all. Let me add, let me tell you something. This guy is actually absolutely wonderful. I love that they actually went through everything with this. Let me just give you a little bit more close up of the car. That is so beautiful. 
love this. Love the fact that he actually comes with opening hood, right? He actually comes with an opening back piece right over here, the opening trunk. And, you know, like, I'm, you can actually see a bit of his head back here, but it's not so prominent or anything like that, you know? He actually comes with an opening door on this side and this side where you can actually see the steering wheel. Not to mention that the doors actually open in the back too. Where do you actually see that on a Masterpiece Transformer nowadays? That's really freaking awesome. They actually went the extra measure of even including actual seats in the front and in the back. I don't know if you can actually see that, but like, look at that. That's actually very cool. I'm pretty sure that you may be able to fit like Masterpiece Spike back there and everything like that. You know, you can actually see the engine details over here also. That's so nice. I love that. And uh, yeah, that's actually very cool stuff. You know, hardly any robot junk on the back or any, on the bottom, you know, except You'll actually notice his head, but like it's not like total visible head syndrome or anything like that. So like that's actually very, very, very cool. I love this. Super stoked about this guy. And I cannot tell you how much I love this. Like, I love this. This is actually awesome stuff. And for a Bumblebee being a Suzuki Swift, it's not that much of a far cry from like the older Beetle versions and everything like that, you know? If uh, Bumblebee was actually gonna get an upgrade, I would, this is just right on the mark, love it. And the thing that, the thing I love it most for are the colors, you know? This is actually so much of a great bright yellow and that's the way I want to see my Bumblebee, just like bright yellow color, you know, like that's beautiful as opposed to like the orangey color. And this is actually cool. It's, he's still actually very cool, but like this, this is actually kind of like my Bumblebee guy. I think I'm actually, this is going to be my masterpiece Bumblebee, you know? So I'm going to transform him and then we'll be back. Yoink. All right. One thing I have to say about this version of Bumblebee is that I love the fact that he actually comes with rubberized wheels. I didn't get a chance to show that to you, but again, just like in Combatler 5, I love the fact that there's at least some grip to him when he's actually rolling. He rolls amazingly, and like, that's actually great. Like, I love the fact that he actually comes with rubberized wheels just as Prime did. You know, I kind of wish that like all the other, all the, all the other, um, all the other masterpieces actually came with that kind of thing also and everything like that. Much like alternators did, you know, back in the day and everything like that. Alternators also had like rubberized wheels and everything like that, which I think was actually one of the greatest things about them. So, same thing with BT. And this guy actually carries on that great tradition and everything like that. So like, I'm actually really loving this. To transform him, we're just going to start by opening up the trunk. And the one genius thing that I think of, that I think is amazing about this is that he actually has this one little latch right over here that you pull down, like right by his head. You actually have to lift it up again when you're actually transforming him and everything like that. But like, there's a reason for that. So let's open up the hood and lift the engine right over here and that actually will unleash his feet. So when you actually click that in, you see that? That's like the mechanism that unlatches his feet right there and I think that's great, love that. So we're going to continue by pulling out his feet a little bit more. Once you actually pull out the feet, the whole entire windshield actually goes right in and I think that's awesome. I don't know if I actually broke mine or anything like that, but like, this piece should actually come down also along with that, but like, I don't really care. Like, this is actually a great just the way he is right now and everything like that, as long as I don't break anything else. So, we're going to lift the back doors 
And I love the fact that he actually comes with these back doors that actually open upwards. Once I get it, there we go. These back doors will actually open upwards. Don't worry, I didn't break them. And then we're going to get to the other side and we're going to bring that up also. Really, really tight AF. So like, I love this. And then we're going to click that, uh, click the inside just a bit more. Uh, sometimes it might take like a couple of times, but you actually want to hear that click once he actually gets in there. Oh, hold on. Just let me make sure that the back is okay. There we go. Once you actually hear that click, his head will actually be in. And I'm just gonna raise this for like a little while longer and everything like that for the final reveal. So, we actually have that and we're going to split his arms right over here. Don't bring this all the way down yet because for this, we're going to bring this up and around and then right over here will actually be where he secures his back wings. So, there we go. And there we are and just fix everything up a little bit here then down on his feet we're going to separate and we're going to separate his feet right over here and bring this down and bring down this tire the tire the whole entire tire will come down along with his feet and there we go and then we actually curve this in that'll actually make the bottom of his feet and then take out his heel spurs right in the back here. There we go. And we're actually going to do the same thing on the other side. Just lift this up. There, there we go. Lift that up. Then bring this down. Curve this in the front grill. And then get the heel spur and then Fix it a little bit towards how you want it. There we go. Bring his knees down, like so. And then, bring his arms down. Take his feet out. Bring his uh, elbows out and to the front. And then, the back will actually just like do like this. There we go. And the same thing on the other side. We'll bring this down. Take his fist out. We'll turn his, uh, we'll turn him by the bicep. And then we'll actually twist this fat bumper around right over here. And the final bit is bringing this down. Oh, let me show that to you once more just in case you didn't see that. Okay, now, oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Once you actually have this section in, you want to clip the motor right into his crotch piece right over here. There we go. And that actually secures his whole upper body and everything like that. So once you actually secure that, he's not going anywhere. And this will actually be kind of like a shield for his, front, for his front areas and everything like that. So that's actually very cool engineering. Just let me fix this a little bit. There we go. And once you've actually had that all done, you want to come over here, bring this down, and then bring this down over here to reveal his Autobot symbol. And then, last step, is taking out his ears or his horns. And there you go. And that is Bumble or Bumblebee in his robot mode. Really, really excellent robot mode. I love this figure. Well, I'm just gonna fix this up a little bit right over here. Like, I really am stoked about this guy. This guy actually cannot do any wrong, except for now. There we go. Oh, and then there we are. And there goes Bumble in his full robot mode. Very awesome. And I'm gonna take you over here to stage A and then let you see the rest of them. My gods, look at this guy. All right, let's take a 
good look at him. He is amazing. Look at that face sculpt. That face sculpt is so damn cool. You never ever see like such attention to detail. I mean, you'll actually see it here and there. Like, I don't want to say like too much. Like the way they actually did Bumblebee here was actually cool. But I really love that head, that head sculpt. That head sculpt is so great. It kind of like makes me think that he's actually kind of like more modeled after these guys right here. Like, look at that. You know what I think is actually pretty amazing about this? And I actually had to borrow a uh, light for this. But you want to talk about light piping? Look at that. Like, I really, really freaking love light piping, and I wish they actually had this on more and more masterpieces. He's usually supposed to, like, glow in, like, more of a blue color, you know? I don't know if it's actually translating as green to you or anything like that, but, like, this guy is just great. I love this. You never ever see light piping or anything like that, hardly on any of these figures anymore. And I love that added effort on these characters and everything like that. Like, that's just love. Look at that. Just perfect. Let me bring you out here just to show you a little bit of the articulation here. Or just let's look around. I haven't figured out like a good place to put this back hood here. But I love the fact that he's actually kind of like a that he's actually more of a little mini hatchback and everything like that more than anything else, you know? If you actually bring this out a little bit too far, you actually kind of like bring it too far out from the back here and everything like that, even though that's actually like everything back here is actually super detailed anyway. So it wouldn't really harm the character. And he actually does come with like a lot of like a bit of oomph and everything like that. He actually comes with a bit of weight. And they actually say that he's die cast and plastic. I haven't really found a whole lot of areas where the die cast actually comes into play and everything like that. But picking him up and say like smokescreen over here, I really do feel like this might be like maybe a couple of grams, like uh, maybe a couple of grams, like maybe heavier than smokescreen is here. And for a bigger robot and everything like that, not too shabby. I really love that. So just let me go through this uh, articulation. There's nothing in the waist due to transformation and due to the way he's actually held together here by this cod piece. So there we go. We actually have a 360 by hinge joint right over by the shoulders over here, hampered by his wings. Uh, we actually have, he can actually go in and out over here by a butterfly extension. He actually has a 90 degree right over by the elbow. He actually has a bicep rotation. Uh, let's see, he actually has wrist rotation and he can actually go up and down. He's got a great amount of movement at his wrist. He's actually got a huge ball joint right over here by his neck. And that's great. He can look down just a bit. He can look straight up like he's flying, you know? So that's actually super appreciated. Love it. Uh, he's actually got, he can go all the way back on really heavy ratchets and everything like that right by the legs. He can actually do a 90 degree right over here. He actually does have ankle rotation and everything like that, but you'd actually have to kind of discombobulate quite a bit and everything like that right over here, uh, right by his ankles, and then like maybe pull this down a little bit more in order to use it. The one thing that I will say that kind of bugs me about this guy is that his feet aren't totally filled in. And I feel as though they were actually like maybe a step away from making this perfect. Like, if they actually just like made this piece a little bit more where he could collapse it right in there. Because it looks like that's what it was actually supposed to be for in the first place. But uh, I don't know if the mathematics were actually off or anything like that or, you know, but like it looks like it should have actually just went right in there. And that would have actually made his feet a little bit more complete. But like, aside from that, he is just really awesome. I love this guy. My ankles are actually the front of his, um, 
the front of his knees are actually kind of weak, so he uh, might sag a bit and everything like that, but like I can always fix him up and everything like that. Maybe a little bit of the floor polish deal. And I love this. I'm still not sure if I'm actually gonna get like a sticker from Repro Labels to like actually put on his chest here or anything like that, because he kind of feels like it's actually kind of beer there. But he actually comes with one already. So I'm not exactly sure. I mean, he is actually supposed to be like a robot in disguise and everything like that, you know? So, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he'll actually stay like that. Now, let's just compare him with Masterpiece Bumblebee. That's really, really interesting to me. Like, he actually kind of like scales a lot more with like the warrior classes. So like, I'm actually just gonna bring in Smokescreen here so you can see what I'm talking about. And I kind of feel like he was actually supposed to be like an upgrade to like maybe this bumblebee here and everything, you know? Like that's really great. Just let me fix his feet a little bit. There we go. And there we are. And there we go. And that's really great. Oh, where his weapons you say? They're right here. Did you notice that? I love the fact that he actually comes with these two little mini pistols right over here, you know? And I actually plug that right in his hands. And just let me get this other piece right here. There we go. And they actually really tab in securely into his, his inner calves and everything like that. Like once you actually peg them in, he's not going, those aren't going anywhere. And I love that he's actually got like this whole dual wielding action here and everything like that. That's very, very cool. Love this. You know, if you're actually looking for like your giant robots of your giant fighting robots and everything like that, that's great. I love that. Also, another thing that they, that this does that I didn't think that they actually really planned for, but I found this out and then as soon as I saw these pegs over here, I said, wait a second, is he effects parts compatible? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Look at that. And this guy is dual wielding, you know? Like, that's awesome. Love the fact that he actually comes with so much playability, so much, like, so much personality and everything like that. Like, I really, really love this guy. A couple of parts might, like, fall here and there and everything like that. I really want to experiment with, like, other, like, alternative characters and everything like that now that I actually have this guy. You know? Like, this is actually great. Wish they actually made more than, like, Megatrons and, like, Optimus Primes for, and, like, uh, say, Ultra Magnus white version, you know, and like Nissans that they actually had for Alternity and everything like that, Starscream and like the rest could have actually been, uh, could have actually been done a little bit better in my opinion, but this guy really knocks it out the park for me, you know, like I cannot find anything really too bad about this guy. You might like fiddle around with like a couple of things just to like find your sweet spot and everything like that for placing things, but like he's great. Will he take the place of my masterpiece, Bumblebee? I don't know. You know, like, uh, there are a couple of times where I actually think that he would. But, um, you know, Bumblebee still has his staple and everything like that. I still love Bumblebee. But that's great, you know? And even if you compare him with, say, putting in him in here with, like, Prime, you know? There we go. Bumblebee still has his place, right? But, I don't know. There we go, look at this. That guy looks dope. Like, I can't say anything more about this guy. This guy is just like really excellent. If you get him, should you get him? I don't know, that's actually all on your collecting choice, all, all, all on your collecting choices and everything like that, but I am so glad I got this guy. Very, very cool. Really worth the investment and everything like that, you know? I'll probably have to fix his knee, probably floor, floor polish it or something like that, you know what I mean? But like, um, the heavy ratchets are kind of like a, kind of like a hit or a miss for me and everything like that, but like, I 
really, really love this guy. Yes, really awesome. I'm actually super, super stoked. In fact, I may start looking for a Suzuki Swift over here in America and everything like that just because of this guy. Why aren't you selling this car here, Suzuki? Anyway. <sighs> this guy's awesome. Should you get Alternative Bumblebee? You know, I really, really want to say, only if you like fun, but there's a bit of a caveat to that. Is he, Masterpiece Bumble, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Alternative Bumblebee actually came with like a few different gripes and everything like that that I've actually heard from, from different collectors that actually kept on talking about like how fiddly he was and how hard to transform he is and blah, blah, blah. The one thing that I've actually found that was that I had a lot of fun playing around with this guy. I think he's awesome. I think that he's actually really well worth it. But that's actually like up to mileage and everything like that. So remember, your mileage will probably vary on this guy. But for me, he's actually going to be an alternative e Bumblebee. He's probably going to be like trans-dimensional Bumblebee because I kind of want to put him in my masterpiece shelf. But I don't really know if I'm actually going to like make him just masterpiece Bumblebee altogether. So for now, I think he'll actually just kind of like hang out with Hot Rod and all these other guys and everything like that that kind of like hold like a special place, you know? So like, there we go. He's actually next to Acid Storm, just kind of like taking up that space and everything like that. And I think that's actually good enough. So from me to you, this is Diecast Norb signing off. And when these stop being magical, that's when I'll stop collecting. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do so and uh, put on the notification bell because I'll probably be coming up with like more stuff as we actually go along. So thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me, guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate every single thing that you actually do. Be good to each other and I will definitely talk to you later. Take care.